What's up? My name is Kevin King, and today I am going to be doing another piano journal. A piano journal is basically uh, similar to a journal entry in that uh, it's just a free form flow of play where I don't really have anything planned out. I basically pick a key at the beginning. Um, today I picked E flat major um, or C minor depending on how you're looking at it. So this is often how I play. I just sit down, uh, pick a key, and just kind of play something. So this is a piano journal. Cool, so there it was, a uh, piano journal, basically I just sat and just kind of played whatever came to me, didn't really know or have a plan ahead of time what I was gonna play. So one thing I did there is something I call the caterpillar arpeggio, and that basically means I take an arpeggio and I my hands move in a caterpillar-like fashion. It looks like this. Where my hands are going in, they're contracting and then they're expanding, contracting and expanding. Looks like a caterpillar moves its body. Uh, that is why I call it a caterpillar arpeggio. So I'm going to take the chord E flat major for example, just because this is the uh, key that I just played the piano journal in. So I have E flat major, um, E flat G, and E flat. formation, this hand formation, in my left hand, I'm playing a power chord, and then in this hand I'm playing the first inversion of the E flat major chord. So I'm spanning two octaves here, and when I play it, as I move up from the left hand to uh, the top of the right hand, like this, when I'm doing that, my left hand moves basically on top of my right hand as it's playing so that it can start that same pattern in this next octave and then my right hand moves over here. And then I get ready like this. So as soon as this note is done playing, I'm ready to play this. So it's only those six notes. So when I speed that up, and you can do this with any chord, so this is just for E flat major. 
uh, for C minor, which I did in the piano journal, it would sound like this. Um, but when you speed it up and you add pedal to it, um, it can just sound, it has a cool um, sound effect to it. And you can really do this with any chord. You can do this with um, like an F minor. Just as long as I have this chord formation and this hand pattern, I just move it from octave to octave like this, but I speed it up. It's just having that left hand on top of the right hand ready to go. But I'm just doing the same thing in each octave. Um, you can pick any chord. Let's take uh, D major with a major seventh. octaves, add some pedal, another thing that you can do is cascade downwards, let's just take F major for example, you can also go down, as an opposite type of effect, it's like you're moving skating down like a waterfall as opposed to like rising up to something. So that is a piano journal um, and the caterpillar arpeggio, uh, just one of the techniques that I used um, during that journal. So um, if you have any questions about music theory or about what I just did, leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, take care.